Hello and welcome to the match preview for the upcoming game at the Emirates, Arsenal versus Wolves. And I aim to bring you all the information that you need to know before kickoff, including recent form, statistics, team news and my predictions. For those of you who don't know, I'm JC. I hope everyone is doing well. And if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please do hit that like button and subscribe if you're new around here as it massively helps me out. But let's not waste any more time and jump straight into things. Kicking off with recent form, and as you can see on screen, both Arsenal and Wolves winning their last two games. But being a little bit more specific, Arsenal won their last game at home against Brentford 2-1. And only a couple of games ago, Wolves and Arsenal did play each other at the Molyneux. Arsenal ring 1-0 with 10 men, which feels like a bit of a running theme. Prior to this, Arsenal did pick up a point at home against Burnley, and it does feel like we're stringing a bunch of results at the moment in what is a very vital part of the season for Arsenal when pushing for that top four spot. Wolves not too far behind, in all honesty, also pushing for a European place come the end of the season. And whilst they did lose to us only a few games ago, they have put two very, very good results together, winning at home against Leicester 2-1 in their last fixture, but also beating Spurs 2-0 away from home. So they are starting to pick up results. Now, if we head over to the head-to-head -head record between these two clubs, not much has changed. As mentioned, we only played them what was last week. Arsenal looking to make it 60 victories in this vi fixture and Wolves just hoping not to lose two on the bounce against Arsenal to make it 33. 28 of these games have ended in a draw. And if we look back at the last three fixtures, well, we already know that we beat them 1-0 in the last fixture at the Molyneux just last week. But prior to this, Wolves did have the upper hand, beating Arsenal both home and away in the Premier League 2-1 in both of those games. Now, for what feels like the first time in a long time, Arsenal, as things stand, have no suspended, injured or unavailable players for this upcoming fixture. We should have a fully fit team which does give Arteta a few headaches for his selection, which we'll get onto in just a moment. Wolves, on the other hand, as things stand, have three players potentially out for this fixture. Eight Nori is one of them, although it is just a knock when you're looking at the Premier League injury table. He is being assessed ahead of this fixture. Willy Bowley and Mascara, however, have no return dates according to the Premier League injury list, but we'll have to wait and see. Only the three players as mentioned. Key players, in my opinion, for this fixture, obviously, Emil Smith-Rowe, the first youngster since Cesc Fabregas to come through the academy and score 10 goals in one season across all competitions. However, he's played 21 times in the Premier League this season, scoring nine goals and providing two assists. Compared to Raul Jimenez, who is Wolves' danger man, he should be fit and available for this fixture, having played 22 times this season in the Premier League, scoring five goals and providing three assists along the way. These are the two players I believe could be the difference makers on the day. Although in saying that, there are some other players in great form for Arsenal at the minute, including Bakayo Saka and Martin Odegaard. So we'll have to wait and see who runs out victors on the day. Now, in terms of my predicted lineup. The team, in my opinion, pretty much picks itself, barring maybe one position, and that is the one out on the left wing. Now, I do expect Emil Smith-Rowe to keep his starting spot, having scored yet again, coming in for the suspended Martinelli against Brentford. And after what feels like forever, a thousand training videos and pictures of Tommy Asu and my last two or three prediction videos, I really genuinely, honestly believe that Tommy Asu will finally start against Wolves. Now that I've said that, the likelihood is that Cedric will get the nod. Look, at the end of the day, if Arteta doesn't think he's fit or right, bringing Cedric in is the correct thing to do. But as mentioned just a moment ago, this team pretty much picks itself when everyone is fit and available. So do let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree with my lineup or would you make any changes? A little bit harsh on Martinelli, but at the end of the day, good competition for places and a great headache for Arteta to have. Now, moving into my prediction for this fixture, when it comes to the scoreline, I'm going to go for a narrow victory. Arsenal are creating somewhat of a fortress at home, 
And the last game we played against them, it was a tricky fixture, really, really trick, tough fixture. So I'm going to go for a 1-0 Arsenal win. Again, do let me know down in the comments below what you think the scoreline will be at the end of this fixture. But that's going to about wrap things up for today's video. As already mentioned, if you have enjoyed and you are new around it, please do hit that like button as well as subscribing and turn that notification bell button on as well so you don't miss out on any future videos. But for now, I'm JC and I'll catch you after the game on Thursday. Take care and stay safe.